The Okta Workflows platform offers robust testing functionality that's not just for workflows, but the individual cards in your flows as well. Let's take a look at how you can test your flows cards and get the greatest benefit from this functionality. You'll want to make a habit out of testing individual cards in your flows when building out your use cases. This practice benefits you by giving you visibility into the following. The format of the card's outputs. What kind of data you can expect to get back in a field. The inputs to your card. Naturally, each card will have different inputs and outputs, but this window keeps things simple by only displaying the inputs you have selected for the specific card. This can help you identify issues when testing. Remember, not all cards behave the same way. Be careful of the inputs you select and be patient when you run into problems. Testing can help you identify problems and resolve them more easily, but it may take practice to become familiar with the different ways cards can work and how to resolve their unique issues. Later on in more advanced lessons, we'll discuss specific troubleshooting methods in more depth. Let's head over to the Workflows console so we can take a look at the benefits of testing a card. We'll use a Google Sheets spreadsheet as a demonstration in this test. This spreadsheet tracks the number of mailing list signups on a particular date. By testing the card, we can ultimately ensure that we'll get the result we expect. In the bottom left-hand corner of the card, there is a small button shaped like a play button. Clicking on that button will bring up a window in your screen with inputs on the left pane and an output section in the right pane. The card in question is the Read Row card for Google Sheets, allowing us to specify a row number and acquire its values. Currently, the spreadsheet only has six rows, so if we specify a number higher than six, we'll get an empty result. Naturally, we want a result that contains data so we can run another test that specifies an existing row and get what we need. This is a very simple example of testing out a card, but it's an important habit to form. Regular card testing will help you avoid errors later on as well as inform the way you'll build the remainder of your flow. Sometimes it's easy to assume what kind of result a card will provide, so even if you're sure you'll get a usable result it can be very helpful to see the format of that result in order to know what kind of data you'll be working with.